What up, Melvin7 here, and uh, I've got a new camera, it's a new manager for Manchester United. I haven't done a match review in months because, to be honest, it just would have been boring. Like I'd have been sat here droning on about some random bullshit about boring football. I loved Jose Mourinho, I wanted it to work, but at the end of the day, he seems a lot happier for leaving the club. We're certainly a lot happier now he's left. You know, third season syndrome, whatever it is, it's done, it's dusted, I thank him for the trophies, but that's it. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, been in the job four days, Mike Phelan is his assistant, and we go and score five in a Premier League game for the first time since under Sir Alex Ferguson. 5-5 five, five against West Brom. It is absolutely magnificent. It's great to see Rashford scoring. Great to see two goals from Lingard. I don't think he'd scored in 26 games. His movement was fantastic today. Martial with a brilliant goal. Like, that goal was Manchester United right there. That one-touch play, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Martial started it off. Martial finished it off. Pogba with three assists. Yes, two of them, you know, not amazing assists. But, you know, you could tell he was playing with freedom today. Even Phil Jones looked good. Like, it's madness. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Oli Gunnar win. What a feeling. Like, honestly, Mike feeling Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. I love them. I absolutely love them. That was the worst thing Moyes could have done when he took charge at Manchester United was get rid of Mike Phelan and uh, yeah like he, he obviously wasn't amazing as a manager Solskjaer's had his problems at Cardiff etc but you know they had a pretty subpar team he's done well for I don't know if this is the correct pronunciation but Molde the Norwegian team of course won two leagues I think with them uh, had two separate spells with them though but managers make mistakes and the, Solskjaer has never had a team full of this much talent and it's been unleashed today. And yes, it's only Cardiff. We're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. But at the end of the day, we're 11 points off top four. We have zero goal difference prior to this game. We have PSG in the Champions League. There's absolutely zero expectations. I just want to enjoy football again. It has been so long since I can safely say I've enjoyed a game as much as that. Even when we've played finals, it's just been nerve you know, nerve-wracking, it's been nail-banging, but it hasn't had that little spark, that little ounce, like when Cardiff scored the penalty, I wasn't even bothered, I knew, I, I literally said, oh, we're going to score three more, I tweeted it out, we did, we literally scored three more, there's no way I would have said that over the last few years, and again, it's Cardiff, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, of course we are, but when, when your team hasn't scored five in the league for five years, and a manager comes in, and within four days, you score five in his first game, away from home, against his former team, you know, it's something to look forward to, and we have some winnable games next, I had a bet on him winning uh, his first five games, and I think, if we keep playing like that, it's a sure thing, like, no disrespect to the teams we're playing, but they are all in the bottom ten, and then we've got Reading in the FA Cup, so, we'll see what we can do, as long as I'm enjoying football, you know, I don't mind the odd loss here and there, it's just not getting absolutely butt-fucked by Liverpool. That was embarrassing. 36 shots. Mourinho had to go. He had to go after that. We got molested by Liverpool, and I hate saying that. And the only time I felt worse about playing Liverpool was under Moyes, when we, were, uh, we lost 3-0 back-to-back against Manchester City and Liverpool. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to be doing these reviews every single game now. I love Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep this up and see what we can do. Come on, United!